Yeah, we, we read a lot and we thought a lot. Uh, I don't know anybody who is wise who doesn't read a lot. And uh, on the other hand, that, that alone won't do it. Uh, you have to have a, a, a temperament, really, which, which, which uh, grabs the correct ideas and, and does something with those ideas. And uh, I think most people who read a lot don't have the necessary temperament, and they grab the ideas or they're simply confused by the mass of material. And of course, that won't work. Yeah, there's probably something. Phil Cray used to talk about having a money mind, and, or, and I would call it a business mind. And, you know, there are people that are better with, you know, identical IQs that are, that are better adapted for one than the other. And, uh, and the temperament is all important. I mean, if, if you can't control yourself, uh, no matter what the intellect you bring to the pros process, you know, you're going you're gonna to have a, you're going to have disasters. And Charlie and I have seen one after another that uh, uh, it's, it's not a business that requires uh, extraordinary intellect. Uh, it does require extraordinary discipline. And uh, uh, that shouldn't be so difficult, but as I look around the world, sometimes uh, it, it apparently is quite difficult. I mean, the whole world went a little mad a few years back in terms of investments, and, and uh, you say to yourself, how could that happen? Don't they learn anything from the earlier ones? But, but you know, what we learn from history is that people don't learn from history, and uh, you certainly see that in financial markets uh, all the time. Yeah. Incidentally, you mentioned books. Charlie, did, you didn't recommend any books this year? Well, one book I really like, I couldn't buy because it's published only in England, but it'll get here in due course. And that's called Deep Simplicity by John Gribben. It's a perfectly marvelous book. And of course, that's a great title, Deep Simplicity. Uh, that's what we're all looking for. I've been reading a short history of nearly everything, and uh, it, it 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 is it's very impressive to you know to read about people pondering how to figure out the weight of the Earth or something in the 18th century, and you would think minds that could do that would do do very well in financial matters. But you know, if you remember, Isaac Newton spent a significant part of his life trying to turn lead into gold. And uh, he might have made a good stockbroker, <laughs> but it didn't do much for him financially. He, Charlie knows more about Isaac than I do. Well, so. And he lost an enormous yeah, the bubble. chunk of his uh, net worth in the South Sea South. bubble. So he invested in an absolute crooked mania. And here was the smartest man in the world. So uh, just IQ points alone won't do it.